2009. A different world. Panini's had just come out. And Michael Jackson died and you were sad. But you fucking knew. In 2009, Ellerslie Racecourse hosted a charity 100 metres race for New Zealand's greatest mascots, including the Griffins Bear, the Lollipops Playland Cat, and crowd favourite, Life Education Trust's Harold the Giraffe. For four years straight, Harold the Giraffe dominated the event and collected the $5,000 prize every time. 2009 was the year everything changed. The New Zealand Breakers mascot entered the race for the first time and Cheeky the Kia blitzed the field arrogantly crossing the finish line backwards. Harold was furious. And then things got really ugly. Harold reportedly accused the New Zealand breakers of hiring a professional sprinter and loading him up with performance enhancing drugs. The scandal sent shockwaves through the mascot community and the negative publicity caused the organizers to cancel the mascot dash for cash forever. I'm headed to NZ Breakers headquarters to confront former Cheeky and 2009 dash for cash champion, Simon Edwards, to find out what really went on all those years ago. Nice to meet you, Simon, I'm Guy. Hi, Simon. I know. I I said your name first. <laughs> <No. laughs> so this is really sad, isn't it? It is very sad. For the world of mascots? Yes. 2009 was the last time the Dash for Cash was run. Because of what happened with you and a man dressed in a giraffe costume? Potentially. I've heard through the grapevine that there was a mascot that put a complaint in about Cheeky to Care. That mascot was, in fact, Harold the Giraffe. They were accusing you of being a proper sprinter? Yeah. Who else was in the race? There was the Lollipops Cat, the LJ Hooker Bear. There was the uh, Kidney Kids mascot, which is a big kidney. Are you taking the piss? No, I've it got... It sounds like you're just making up random animals I've and got... just saying it. There was Blue Balls, the prostate cancer mascot. Did you have any background in athletics or sprinting? No real background. I'm not the type of person who will blow my own trumpet. Yet you're sitting here wearing a 2009 mascot Dash for Cash champion t-shirt. I don't have a lot of achievements. <laughs> do you have a history in performance enhancing drugs? I do not know. Have you ever taken an asthma inhaler before? I have not, no. Have you ever huffed Sally's No More Gaps? <laughs> no, I've not. Have you ever douched alcohol? Douched? You know, like a butt funnel. <laughs> No, I have not. Cheeky firmly denied any allegations of cheating. I had to find Harold to find out why he made the outrageous claims that cancelled the race that he loved. But this was no easy task. Mascot identities are some of the world's best kept secrets. I spent three weeks in the archives to get a lead. Repeat orders of mascot material from the fabric store Spotlight. In the colour, Joyful Giraffe. The lead took me to Auckland's North Shore and I came face to face with the disgraced champion whose complaints ruined the race forever. The Lance Armstrong of the mascot racing world, Harold the Giraffe. What did you hate about Cheeky? I didn't hate anything about Cheeky. 2009 was more like a fun one for us. How did you feel when the Kia beat you? I got beaten by about seven mascots. Gutting. And then I had a, oh, Harold had a penguin behind him, and luckily he managed to beat the penguin off. So you beat off a penguin? Yeah, I beat off a penguin. Oh, Harold beat off a penguin, yeah. We might want to check the phrasing on that. Harold was coming to the finish, and he could hear a penguin behind him, so he had to keep the penguin from beating him off. Yeah, that's bringing back nightmares. A little bit peeved off? Oh, not at all, not at all. It's more for the fun. I heard a rumour that some of the mascots were sprinters that had been put into a costume. Yeah, we weren't too bothered, but... You've got such a good attitude, because I'd be yeah. peeved if someone was putting a professional sprinter into the race. Yeah, it's more for the fun aspect. So what would you say to people who did put a professional sprinter into run? Good on them. No, not good on them, that's cheating. <laughs> no, it's not cheating. And it's more for the fun, so... I understand it's for the fun. You've said that literally 200 times. See, there was no villain. No, there has to be a villain, it's a story. It's good versus evil. Colin was the nicest man I'd ever met, and I didn't know who to believe. Torn between a giraffe and a Kia. There was only one way to decide who was telling the truth. We should have another race. Yeah, I reckon another race would be good. So what's the most threatening thing I can get you to say down camera about Cheeky the Kia then? Cheeky the Kia, we look forward to having a very competitive race against you in the future. Can you say something a bit more aggressive than that? Cheeky the Kia, we are trying our best to beat you. You'll try your best? Yes. You're going to say, I'm going to beat you? Well, we're going to try our best to beat him. You can just go, Fuck that gear. Yeah, we'll we'll give it a good go. You're so nice, it's unbelievable. It was time to put the call out and unite the greatest mascots that were available at the time to race for the 2019 mascot dash for cash. Pride. We didn't have enough budget for an actual cash prize, so we made it for pride. 
all the mascots were on board. Lollipop's Playland Cat, Winger the Seagull, Latex Man, and of course, Cheeky the Kia. He's saying he wants a rematch. Oh. And it's happening. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. 2019. We'll be racing. It was on. I couldn't wait to tell Colin. It's on. Oh, very good. Are you excited? Very excited. Is there anything you're not excited about ever? Oh, me cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. In order to take Cheeky down and beat off the penguin, Colin had a lot of work to do. It had been 10 years since Colin last ran with Harold, and to get him back into peak physical condition, we had to start right now. Good pace, mate. Keep it going, looking good. I tried negative reinforcement. Pick up the pace, you fuckhead. And positive reinforcement. You're doing a great job, you fuckheads. Get your act together, Colin. Sorry about that. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yes, Colin, yeah! Get up there, get up there, jump. Put the hustle going now, Colin. Way to go, mate. And down. I hate herpes. I think they call burpees. Burpees. Burpees, yeah. Burpees. We hate herpes too, though. All right, good job. Why do I have to keep changing my clothes? So it makes it look like you've run for more than one day. Oh. Not here, not here, there's children around. Colin wasn't that fit, but what he did have was heart. My heart's hurting. And in order to stop that heart from hurting, we had to finish training early. Let's go kick some ass. Let's go kick some butt. We don't say ass. Let's go kick some butt. Our training was done, but was Harold ready? There was only one way to find out. Race day, Alexandra Park. The world was ready for the return of the mascot Dash for Pride, brackets no cash, for the first time in 10 years. All right, a very good evening, everybody. Welcome along to Alexandra Park. What a night perfect here in the city of Sales for the mascot race. Odds done it. The mascot race was back. And the tension was thick in the air as the competitors prepared for the biggest event on the mascot calendar. It was hard to gauge what was going through their minds because, unfortunately, the first rule of being a mascot is not talking. What's your strategy for winning the race today? Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Winger. Winger are, the Seagull. Are you allowed to talk? No clue. Have you never done the Seagull before? Nope. Are you a fast runner that just sends into the race to win the race? No. I'm a student. A student? Of what? Sprinting? Who do you think your biggest competition is? I think my biggest competition is not Harold. Okay, well he's he's back there right now. Yeah. And what's your name, sir? Hey, what's up, man? I'm the frog. What's your name? I'm Manu. Ma no, no, not your real name. Oh. What's, what's the name of your character? Oh, I'm Eric the Frog from Tax Refund. Tax Returns? Yeah, Tax Return. You don't even know, do you? No. How are you feeling about your chances in tonight's race? <laughs> not so good. Why not? All oh, the other guys look fast as fuck. OK, well, don't swear, Lollipop's cat. Latex man, what's your strategy for tonight's race? Go hard. What the fuck is this? This is just a potato man. Like, literally a vegetable. I'll be honest with you, I've seen some shocking mascots in my time, and this is right up there with the best of them. Where do you go? Do the kids abuse you? Stop fucking smiling at me. So you look at me with that demented face. This was it, Harold versus Cheeky. The winner would get to rewrite the history of mascot racing forever. Cheeky, are you ready? Harold, are you ready? This mascot race hasn't run in 10 years, and tonight we're bringing it back. So go out there and run the best race of your entire life. And good luck to all of you. I think you've all got a wonderful chance of winning. Except for you, Mr. Potato, you're fucked. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the New Zealand Today mascot race. We're ready to go. We're under starters' orders. On your marks, get set. Go! And they're off. Eric the Frog is out strongly down the outside. Up there too now was Tama the Tuatara. Trover on the inside, there was Cheeky the Kia striding away though, Winger the Seagull. Harold! The race was over. And although Harold or Cheeky didn't take the gold, they took my heart. Because at the end of the day, they're all winners. Lollipop's cat, tax refund frog, and uh, fuck, that is a horrific mascot, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Alexandra Park, thank you so much for having us. I hope you enjoyed the 2019 New Zealand Today Dash for Pride Brackets No Cash. Give yourselves a round of applause for being part of this fantastic event. But today there was only one winner, and that winner is Winger the Seagull from Auckland Rugby. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Winger the Seagull had won. Cheeky was gutted. Winger the Seagull was literally a winger for Auckland rugby development, something like that. Do you feel like, maybe like Harold did when you beat him? Well, yes, I have been contemplating about what Harold might have been feeling those 10 years ago. Bad luck, Cheeky, man, you went hard. And Harold, Harold tried his best. So Winger the Seagull has beaten off Cheeky the Kia, and I'm at the back of the race, and I've beat off the potato. And in many ways, that's a win. Yeah, at least I beat something on the track, so I'm very happy. <laughs> For the first time in 10 years, the mascot race has a new champion and a new legend. A legend that tells the tale of a group of grown men and women in weird suits, putting their differences aside to resurrect one of the greatest sporting events the world has ever seen. Because everyone deserves love, unless you're a potato. Guy Williams, New Zealand Today.